Chin up, Trails fans, because the newest anticipated gacha game is here. That's right, Wuthering Way- <laughs> Wrong game. Trails of Cold Seal Northern War, and it is gar- Great! I'm a diehard Trails fan, so of course I had to check it out, and it is definitely one of the games I've ever played. Playing this game is kind of like a slap in the face, but if that slap was booty cheek, so at least it's kind of enjoyable. But it's still a slap nonetheless. I'll start off with the mistranslations, and hoo boy, there are quite a few of them. Over here we have the beautiful Icy Maiden. That's right, Elliot Craig. And over here we have the wonderful Laura Arsade, the musician. And who could forget the most important character of Trails of Cold Steel 2? The Azure Chevalier. That's right. Toa Herschel. These are just the tip of the iceberg of some of the mistranslations that are in this game. But my favorite one so far is... <laughs> is <laughs> is Aryan Lord. The... Yeah. As you can see, there are quite a few mistranslations. And, you know, that's not enough to damper the enjoyment of the game, so... Let's move on to our next topic, the aesthetic. So looking at some of these portraits, like Laura, you can see that, oh, it's pretty good art because they ripped it straight from the Cold Steel series, mostly 3 and 4. But then you look at the other older characters like Wazi and uh, Bracer Scott, yeah, they also just ripped that artwork from the respective games. So the art kind of mixes and doesn't really match kind of just blends together into a in not so great looking mess. Oh, and did I forget to mention Gilbert? He is the aesthetic. Now, Trails has never been known to be that impressive with their graphics, but they definitely have stepped it up in the past few years. But even then, the character models in this game, uh, to put it lightly, are a bit off. They are somehow worse than the Cold Steel 3 and 4 models, but at the same time, not that much better than the Cold Seal 1 and 2, which is surprising, to say the least. Now they're not terrible, they're just not great, considering what other great gacha games have come out in the past few years. Moving on, we have the faithfulness to the series, and it's like we compared a wife whose husband has been in war for the past 10 years. Faithful enough to keep in contact, but they're doing some shady stuff in the background. I'll start off with the S-Crafts, namely Laura. You know the big strong sword she wields, the cool ass S craft she has, Radiant Lion in the early Cold Seal, and Radiant Divine, Radiant Bla- ah, what the f*** am I saying? And Divine Phoenix Blade in the later series. They could have used either of those, but nah, they decided to have her use a field of something. And just like how I said it was not that faithful, the game literally has a template of so many Trails games to choose from, of the grid combat, turn based. No, they went with an AFK battler. Yeah, uh, it's it's not that great. So, um, it's one of the games of all time, and I am sad to say that this game is not that fun. But that's not to say that it's completely unfaithful. The entirety of the anime, the, you know, the one that no one really talks about because it was kind of bad, I didn't really watch it. The Northern War anime, the entire series that this gacha game is based off of, they just kind of reuse the animation from that series, so, you know, it's fateful. Somewhat. And lastly, I want to talk about the pricing for this game. And it is... It is definitely gotcha huh? prices. On the day of launch, the prices were definitely mistranslated because some of them were saying $700 for one pack, and I was flabbergasted. I was shocked. Bamboozled. I was like on the floor crying because why would anyone pay that much for a skin of Risha? I mean, it is a nice skin, but if you're asking me, I think I'd rather just go to the real gacha game of the series. That's right. Trails into Reverie. Alright, we gonna win big today! What are we gonna get? But yeah, the pricing in this game is very predatory and kinda scummy with how they label some things. So, as much as I want this game to be good for the series, I hope they at least take this money and use it wisely. But from what I've read so far, it is not associated with Falcom, so... You know what, if you've never played Trails before, just know that the games are a lot better than this. With all that being said, I still love Trails, so I am excitedly waiting for Trails into Daybreak 
Trails from Daybreak? Kuruno Kiseki? That one. The one that's releasing in July. So, if you're interested, I will be streaming that whenever it comes out. And hopefully, if I stay on track, you know, like I've been doing the past few months, I will make a video on Trails into Reverie because that game was pretty good. So keep an eye out for that. And until next time, I'm Julius Sky. And thanks for dropping by.